seeding later on in the competition, but no seeding in the World Youth Championships. And, and Jakubov, as I said, he, he had a lot to do to turn things around going into the final round, having maybe taken just a bit too long to assess the situation in in the first round. And Rasmarita got a bye. So this is first taste of action. Just checking that the thumbs are attached there. Our referee, that's one thing you have to check. The head guards, the gloves, the protector, the gum shield. So Salgado with a height advantage there, you can see. And whoever wins this will box Lyasevich, who we just saw go through. Round one. Salgado, Cuba in a red. Rosmarita, Southport, Moldova in the blue. Just looking to use the jab there. Salgado, keep Rosmarita at bay with that weapon right to the body. Cuban fighters always have very, very good basics, drilled and drilled and drilled, and that jab is is a weapon for him there. It's not a range finder. It's a heavy jab. Rasmarita will do well to get inside it. There's already some marking up around his right eye, actually, where that jab has landed. I think the referee has noticed it, actually, and that's why she's taking him over to the doctor and that opening minute there is just uh, a classic demonstration of a textbook jab he's a strong looking fighter physically strong Salgado and he's just snapping that jab out he's throwing a couple of rights to the body and now he's got that target to go for he'll just keep going for it right hand off the back of the jab Right hand to the body. Rasmarita looks to try and move forward if he can. And every time out it comes, that lead hand, he just snaps it out. In quite a few fights over the last few days where I've asked for that from fighters. They're up against someone who likes to come forward and get onto the inside. And Rasmarita's that kind of fighter. Not that many that we've seen who I've asked to, to snap out that lead hand and just throw, throw, throw with it have actually done it. Salgado is, is doing exactly that. He could do this any which way, I think, to be perfectly honest. And I don't mean any disrespect to Rasmarita when I say that, but Salgado, we can see here, is, is levels above Rasmarita and... He could choose to fight this in, in any manner, really, and he would win. But when you're up against somebody like this who's kind of walking in on you or trying to walk in on you, this is how you do it. Right hand off the back foot there from Salgado. And again, off the ropes. <laughs> Dominant first round for the Cuban. Ten eight in there from Emerson Pastor of Guatemala. Ten nine from everybody else. Now they've just got the end swell out on that that damage underneath the 
hide there for Rasmarita. Seconds out, please. And the corner knows that this is this is hard for Rasmarita. That Moldovan corner, they know. Second round. Just speaking to him softly in the corner there. They, they just want to try and keep him going. And there's that jab again. Right hand just rolls away to his right. Rasmarita just inching forward, inching in, but just gets caught with that jab. Short right hand on the inside there as he did manage to close the distance down. Right to the body. Lovely uppercut on the inside there, Salgado. Rasmarita. To be fair to him, he's trying to press this as much as he can. But there's another uppercut from Salgado. And as I said, he can he can win this fight at range and he'll win it on the inside. Right hand followed by a left hand and you have to give credit to Rasmarita here because he's trying to land, he's trying to make an impact, he's, he's trying to win, basically, but he's in with somebody here who, and there's no shame in this, but he's in with somebody here who was just a lot better than him. Boxing ring is a tough place to be at the best of times, but in this kind of situation, it, it's even harder. But he's showing us some serious, some serious bottle here, the Moldovan. Right to the body, maybe a bit low. <laughs> nice little left hand there from Rasmarita, but Salgado comes back with a right to the body, right upstairs. Another uppercut, and the knees just seem to dip a little bit there for Rasmarita. Salgado covering up well there, though. He's looking for that right to the body, right uppercut most of the time. He, he tucks up. Rasmarita has his go, and then Salgado will come back, usually with a right to the body, as he did there. Right to the body, right uppercut. That's what he's looking for, left to the body. And he's choosing to have this up close here, Salgado. Final few seconds of, of round two. I think Rasmarita feels like he's safer at this range than he is just on the end of the jab and I don't know whether that's really true but at the same time he obviously feels more comfortable in this kind of a fight that goes the belt little tap of the glove there from Salgado he's got respect here for Rasmarita you can see that He's toughing this out, the Moldovan. Couple of ten eights in there. <laughs> Did have some success on the inside at times, but that's what he was looking for, Salgado. He tuck up, basically waiting until Rasmarita to finish punching. They go with the right to the body, right uppercut. There we go again. And there the gum shield came out. That was Salgado's, actually, slightly surprisingly. Second round, please.
third round. So it's the third and final round. Salgado, the keeper, well in front here. He's in the red. Valeria Razmarita of Moldova is in the blue. And he's stuck at his task here, the Moldovan fighter. He's in with a very good operator. And got marked up around that right eye from the jab early on. But hasn't let it discourage him. Again there from Salgado, then just takes a step off to the right-hand side. He's not looking to engage quite so much in, in the third round here, Salgado. And what you have to bear in mind here is that this is a tournament. He's boxed once already, tough fight against Shapikov. This will take him into the quarterfinals. He's hoping to box another three times after this. And he's got this under control. He's got it in the bag. And... He won't want to drop any rounds, but there's no point in him going out there in round three, putting his foot down and really looking to put on a show and, and get the stoppage and expend unnecessary energy. That's not that's not a wise policy. So hence he's just sticking and moving a bit more here than he than he did in that previous round, certainly. And than he did in the in the first. He threw plenty of jabs in the first, but he was stood in front of Razmarita out of distance, but throwing those jabs just to get control of the fight early on, put his stamp on it, and make sure everybody knew who was in charge, which he absolutely did. And I don't think Valeria Razmarita will be too upset with this either, because the last thing he would have wanted would have been Salgado coming out to try and make some kind of point in this third round. Nice left hand, left hand on the inside there from Salgado. Right to the body, right up a cut, but nothing really on that one. Just tapping. And then just looks to finish with uh, a few more solid punches. Bell goes at the end of the fight, touching gloves between the two. That's a comfortable win for... Salgado, but no shame in that for Razmarita, no shame at all. He's in with a, a top quality fighter there. And he toughed it out. Ladies and gentlemen, win on points with the unanimous decision from the red corner, Brian Leon Salgado, Cuba. So through he goes, Salgado. Three rounds to nil and plenty of 10-8s in there as well. Three of them in that final round. Not sure that was a 10-8 round. 